Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick video on the AL MVP, the unanimous MVP. Shohei Otani with Salvi Perez um, not finishing in the top five, but did get a second place vote, rightfully so. Someone recognized him as one of the best catchers in baseball and having a historic season, season since the greats of Mike Piazza, Johnny Bench, and other power hitting great catchers. Excuse me. But this one's going to be on the AL MVP, going unanimously to Shohei Otani, who did not only help to solidify the Angels lineup, amassing 46 home runs, but also made 23 starts, had a 965 OPS, the second highest in the AL, and eight triples tied for the major league lead, also stole 26 bases, only topped by seven, and he became the sixth player in history with at least 45 homers and 25 stolen bases, Joining decorated numbers like Chipper, Jose Canseco, not the best guy to mention, but Larry Walker, Bonds, and Alfonso Soriano, one of the most fun players to watch during his time with the jump catches in the outfield and the fantastic hitting and throwing ability. But none of these other players, obviously, as the great ESPN's um, Aiden Gonzalez points out, um, could ever pitch and play like the Babe Ruth of our current generation. And obviously none of us ever saw Babe Ruth being he played all the way back in the beginning of the 1900s. But we get to see Shohei Otani right in front of our eyeballs. And on ESPN, on TNT, on all these other national syndicate networks, because of how good he is and Mike Trout's on his team. So those two together, you're going to get national games no matter how good the Angels are. But now they signed Noah freaking Syndergaard. So next season, maybe they actually will get the Basins. Artie Moreno finally brought, wised up, and their GM finally wised up, and they were able to get pitching, and they already have a solid lineup. So smart jobs by them. But Shohei Otani made... Um, on the mound, had 130 and a third innings, 318 ERA, 156 strikeouts, 44 walks, but he'll continue to get better in the walk department, but he was very good there. Um, and he's ranked within the top 14% in strikeout percentage and top 19 in opponent slugging percentage and top 16 in expected fielding and independent pitching. Um, and he had a 9.1 baseball reference wins above replacement, so he was absolutely bonkers on the mound, and a absolutely Hall of Fame level hitter if he continues that up at the plate combined with his pitching. This guy definitely, if he keeps this ridiculous bonkers playoff, is on success streak to definitely be in Cooperstown and also a success streak to be the Babe Ruth of our current generation and somebody that you're always going to want your eyeballs featured on no matter how good the Angels are. But the Angels added Noah Syndergaard. They got a great pitcher. They have more money to add maybe to the team around them. So this is an exciting time for Angels fans and at the same time for baseball fans as a whole to just watch this absolutely unicorn of a talent in Shohei Otani pitch with the best of them and hit with the best of them. So hats off to him. He deserves the unanimous MVP and any other season, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. would deserve the MVP, but not this one, folks, because Shohei Otani pitches with the best of them and hits with the best of them, and he's going to get even better at both, and especially on the mound, 318 ERA, I don't think that's going to be damn near close once he harnesses his control even more to his best season on the hill. He can maybe even have a future Cy Young on top of an MVP. So this is a very good start for Shohei Otani having his healthiest season, and it showed getting an MVP award that he rightfully deserved. Peace out, everybody. This has been the Sports Fan News reaction to the Shohei Otani MVP award that he rightfully deserved. Subscribe up above or down below. I appreciate your support. Get us to 160, only two subscribers away. Peace out, everybody.